Alright, hey guys, Herf here. Welcome to another episode where we try to survive and thrive here on the Lost Island. Uh, we are kind of stepping in it here today. I have initiated a fight with an Alpha uh, Lead Sictus that I found up here. And uh, I'm just going to... We're just going to keep it going. He's kind of squishy. I don't... Uh, I was just trying to look for some fish meat. And... Is he seriously, like, going... Are you running away? Come here, you coward. Let me kill you. Oh, and then I killed you. Okay. Now... I don't want that shark to come after her. I want that bag, though. Oh, Alright, I gotta go down and get this bag. Where's the bag? Come here, bag! Get out our thing, just in case. Let's take all of that and get back on the Baryonyx, and I guess that... Oh, maybe that... Was that a... Was it a dolphin and not a shark? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, he can barely move because I think he's heavy. No, he's not heavy. So anyway, we are up here in the, uh, the northwest corner of the map, and I will show you our coordinates here in a few minutes. But uh, I'm going to attempt uh, to find another artifact uh, in a cave up here. I don't know which artifact it is or what the name of the cave is yet. Uh, and I was just swimming around out here trying to find some fish. Because uh, I forgot to bring fish for the berry. And uh, what was that? Did we get a thing? Oh, we got a captain's hat. I've never had a captain's hat before. This is a first. Alpha lead sickness and blubber. It doesn't sound delicious at all, and it doesn't expire, which is good. Right. And really, we got a primitive stone pick. Tell me that was from the shark, maybe. Um, all right, let's see what the berry. He must have picked up a ton of. Oh yeah, a ton of fish meat. Okay. I feel bad. We're gonna waste all that fish meat because we just don't need it. All right, so this is where we are in the map. Uh, uh, you can see us over here, kind of uh, on the left. We're at 39.0, uh, and uh, I guess just about 9. Um, so that little bay, kind of right over uh, the Wyvern's Wing, is where we just were killing the uh, the Alpha Lead Sictus. So let's put these things away. Uh, and right behind me, in this corner right here, um, so you can get an idea visually of where we are, uh, we are sort of... Uh, I don't know what bay that is right there. It's one of the starting places, though. Um, but it's this kind of... Uh, this area here with all these giant sort of rock tube things. Uh, and right in the corner here, I believe, is the entrance to a cave. Uh, which is where I have the Barry parked. And I gotta try on this uh, captain's skin. I mean, how do we not try that, right? Alright, so I got the Perry parked here. I've cleaned out his inventory. Um, I want me, not you. No offense, pal. Let's try the captain skin out. And can we go, like, third person? I have to get off, right? No, oh, put that away. Yep. Yep. Okay, third person. <laughs> oh, I can't stand that. I have to do orbital camera. There we go. There we go. Now everything is backwards, of course. Now, I am totally going to have to put the captain's hat on the Sinnoh. I mean, that's just going to have to happen. So we will figure this out. But uh, yeah, we're going to enter this cave. Oh, what are you scaring? Uh, okay. I don't know what it was yelling at. Oh, we are hovering. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is the cool stuff right here. Now we've got Captain Cinema Crops. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's head into this cave. <laughs> ah. Stupid shoulder pets are so adorable. Um, Let's throw some stamina on you, I guess. So we do have some... Uh, we got some fish meat, kind of the hard way. What was that? I realized last time uh, that when we went into the cave, I really didn't uh, really didn't turn on the uh, the torch at all, and it was kind of stupid. It was very dark in there, so I'm hoping this is in fact an artifact cave. Uh, 
I guess we'll find out here momentarily. There was much chitin for the townspeople. All right, what's down here? Let's go down here. Spiders. Little scorpion. Kill the scorpion. Is this like where we... This might have been the cave that we were in. Yeah, this is the cave that we were in. We circled around up there and went up. Oh, let's come back here. This way? It's a dead end. Okay, this is pretty cool. So there definitely is, uh, it is a cave. I just don't quite know where to go, but that certainly doesn't look deathy down there. Um, so I just had to try a couple of the other passages that we came across, uh, in the beginning. And that got us to a couple of, eh, can we not fit through here? Okay. Alright, we can potentially crowd pod and uncrowd pod. Um, let's go back a little ways. Way to go up here. Let's see what's up here. Oh, alright. 
this is the way we came in. <laughs> uh, Alright, and I went down that way. Let's try this one. No, this is the way we came in. We got a loot crate down there. So, all right. I don't really know where I am or what we're doing, but we're going to jump off and try to grab this loot crate here. Now, I am going to jump off and float down. And we're going to murder this Megalania. So, I do have the Sinnoh on uh, auto scream, so he is scaring everything. See what we get in this one. Ooh, we got some fur pants. Oh, that's pretty good. 307. That's decent. Uh, it's not a wreck saddle, but uh, definitely usable. That's nice. All right, let's take out the torch. See what we're doing. All right, there's no way to go there. Pretty cavey. All right. We have been webbed. Now, let's see if I can hit one of these guys. Yes, I can. All right. Uh, I won't worry about them. They're, they seem to be uh, turned right now. <laughs> Check out down here. loops around. So we have uh, crowd potted the Baryonyx. We're going to try to sneak through this little thing. We have to crouch to get through here. Uh, at least in the beginning. All right, let's throw him back out. Uh, you'll see in there that I also have um, crowd potted an Argentavis. And that is because uh, I was brutally assassinated by a group of Dinopithecus. Uh, on my way over here, on the um, on the wyvern, we stopped in the redwoods just for some stam uh, and a red drop that I saw, um, and we killed a group of Dinopithecus. And uh, there was a level one thirty left over, uh, and I tried to tame it, 
And in the process of taming it, another group of Dondopithecus showed up that included a max level of 150. So um, we ended up killing them all, uh, and they killed me. So, all right, this is just where I went through just now. Uh, this is where we came out. Okay. All right, guys. So that side chamber was just a kind of a self-contained uh, little cavern. I had to crouch to get through there. There was no other way in or out of that. So, uh, man, all right, we are running into all kinds of having to cryopod this guy, uh, which is fine. It's just... There we go. Oh, no, we didn't get through. Okay. Cryopod him again. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are down in this cavern. Um, we found it several ways. Uh... We came in up top. We also jumped down a... Uh, uh, if we come over this way... We also jumped down from up there. And there's a ramp that we walked down this way in the Baryonyx. So you can get down here several ways. And riding on the Baryonyx, I actually missed... Uh, there's a chamber here on the right. Uh, I missed this. I didn't see it on the Baryonyx. Um, and as you get in here, there's a couple more chambers. Uh, I don't know where this one goes. Oh, this, I guess, just brings you back to the waterfall again. But over here is this thing that you gotta really crawl under to get through. And then, um, around the corner here, it looks like that's the artifact, so... Um... Confusing, but not super hard to get to. So we have Artifact of the Hunter, so we have successfully grabbed it. So I'll see if I can backtrack and show you how to get out of here, so... Um... Yeah, so you, it's it's hidden under this thing, so you can't find it on a mount. Um, thankfully there's not too much around here, but... Well, you know what? Let's go this way and see if this brings us back to the same kind of waterfall room. And it does. Alright, so you got one waterfall here, two waterfalls. Uh, see if I can get them both in view at the same time. Here we go. So I'm just going to fly up here in the Sinnoh because I know this way uh, I can get out. <laughs> Oop here. So I'm going to throw the Barry back out. Uh, some things may have respawned up here. So we did find that one blue drop in here, but we haven't found anything else, and I think I've kind of been through everything. Alright guys, so we are back at the Wyvern here, back at the entrance, so I'm going to see if we can retrace our steps to get to the artifact quicker. Um, so I just went straight in, and I think we take this first left. And then there's several ways to go off of this tunnel. Um, but there's a number of ways to find the waterfall room, and that's all we want to do. So let's curl back up here. And I think once we get up in here, there's several ways to go. Yep. So... Um, I think if we take this first right here. Yep, this will bring us down. Um, we could go that way right there, just over the dung beetle, and you can drop down from there if you've got the seno. But this way will bring you down. Uh, oh, oh yeah, you can't get through here with the barry, but that will bring you into the the uh, waterfall room. So let's go this way instead. This will bring us up to the top of the waterfall room. Um, so yep, once you're in this room here, then you just have to go down around that stream. Now there are bats and other things in here that we've already killed. Uh, so, and then you'll find that, um, that nook down there. In fact, let's go down and try to find it. 
Oh, her did not not jump properly. So you come down in here, go through that stream, and when you get to the end of that stream, you have to duck underneath um, uh, that that spot to find that uh, artifact room. So it's really not too bad, but it's it, it's you know once you figure it out, but it's very confusing to start with. So. All right, I'm going to go ahead and crowd pod the Barry, and we're going to get out of here, and I will bring you back at base for an update on the uh, Rex breeding. Ooh, we found a red drop. I could hear it. I can hear it humming from down below. What is that? A Therizino saddle. Okay, well, I'm not taming one of those. We're not in the market, but that works. Well, that was unexpected. Okay, hey, we actually found a red drop in a cave. Look at us. Ugh. What's this? Oh, man. <laughs> So, so we were just around the corner right there, where kind of where that uh, you see that drop just above the wyvern's head, right? That that is where we came from. So we haven't uh, gone very far. This uh, sort of bright colored uh, Bronto got my attention, and right next to him is a male 162 uh, Tech Rex. I don't like. I really want to tame it, but I don't need it at all. You know, we've got a late an, an 811. And uh, I don't want to take the time. I do like his kind of light blue colors. Uh, that's very pretty. Uh, but there's really no point in taming it. Um, I don't need it. <laughs> I have a breeding pair of 811s. Um, I, uh, what would I use it for? So I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it alone. I don't need it. I hate flying away from it. But there's no point in wasting resources or time in taming it at this point, because we're just making, uh, we're in the midst of making an army for uh, the boss, and uh, I will bring, I'll give you an update on that when we get back to base. All right, guys. So here's the artifact of the pack from last time. Uh, this was the the last episode we picked up the artifact of the pack. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and place this one, which is the hunter, right? Yep. Oh, get closer. So we'll throw the hunter over here. Nice. So that gives us what? Two, four, five, six, seven? I guess seven out of the ten that we need, plus there's an eleventh one. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure which one we'll do next, but we will figure it out. I kind of uh, totally spaced on that cave. We... We saw that particular cave uh, way earlier on in the series. Um, I think we were looking for pteranodons even or something uh, way back then. So let's come over here and check out uh, what we're doing for Rexes. So I've gone ahead. We put in a bunch more um, bunch more metal ceilings here. I have four left over, and I am out of metal. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to do any more. Kind of wanted to leave this a little bit open just in case somebody falls in or something dumb, but... So I don't know if I need to finish it. Um, if I need to put more Rexes out here, I will need to finish it. But for now, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, these are... So our two breeders are over here. Um, let's check these guys out. So this is our original female. Um, so this is the 810 uh, original female that we caught. This was... The 811 male that we made. And this is another clone of mom. So uh, I was... Uh, I have been. I have turned them off. But we were breeding two in a row. Um, with those... Uh, we we got this. Um, this is the 811 female. So this one will replace mom. I don't think you can see that. I was looking up. So this is an 811 female, so I'm going to bring this female, now that she's grown up, over there and uh, replace original mom. 
and we have to eat. Um, okay, we have eaten. Uh, this is... What is this, 250? This is the original... Uh, this is the original, I guess, 156 that we caught. We tamed in at 233, and I've since put a few levels into him. And this is the intermediate uh, breeder, the 594, that gave us the 811 male um, baby. So anyway, so these two are going to be employed. This is the original, uh, yeah, the original male, and this is the intermediate male. So these two are going to be part of our army, uh, along with probably not the original mom. We're going to keep the original mom. She's super special. But, uh, yeah, so what I've been doing, honestly, is, uh, and we're not breeding now, I've turned all the breeding off, but we've been hatching eggs, and then with one of these two guys, I will, uh, hatch, and the babies that we don't want, I just have these guys eat them, and they get a good amount of levels, uh, from that, and with those levels, I pump up their health and their, uh, melee, and, um, I'm gonna add a cryo fridge out here that's going to be just for the Rex army. Um, probably just put it right back here. I'm not sure I like leaving all these things out in the open, uh, but th this will be fine. I mean, we're not going to get anything attacking us over here. So, uh, Yeah, so that's it. So we're making good progress. So we're going to have uh, the, the 811 female with an 811 male. They'll be the perfect starting point, and we're going to try to get a few mutations, uh, at least into melee or something. I, I don't even know that we need them because these things are so high. Uh, so I may just uh, take the first, you know, 15 or 16 that we get and make an army out of them. But I do need to level them, and I have been using uh, the Snowy Owl here. Because if we get it just right, so we level these guys, uh, have them eat the babies. Which is, you know, it's wrong, but it's Ark. Um, then I pump uh, health into them, and then I just sit here and heal them with uh, the Snowy Owl. Until he runs out of Stam. Um, I pumped every level this guy had into Stam. So these guys didn't need to heal. I think they're fully healed between uh, just natural healing with me not being here and what I've done with the Snow Owl. So uh, anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. As always, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you find yourself enjoying what we do, uh, do throw us a like or a comment. Uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing as all these things do help the, the channel out. And uh, as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next one.